Hi everyone, I'm Neela. I'm here to explain you about this model. This model is all about our solar system. The first thing we can see here is the big ball of fire, the sun. The sun is a star but not a planet. Let's move on. There are totally eight planets in our solar system. The, the first planet is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Let me tell you some facts about Mercury. Mercury is the smallest ball as you can see. It is also the smallest planet in the solar system because then it, it can also, it is very small as so it can also orbit very, very fast around, around the sun. The next planet we can see is Venus. Venus is the second planet of the solar system. It is also looking like the sun if you can see. It is also a ball of fire, the evil twin of earth. But did you know it is the hottest planet in the whole solar system? because of its thick layer of atmosphere. You might be thinking, why isn't this not the, the first planet or be nearest to the sun or be the first hottest planet? Because it's thick atmosphere that mostly contains carbon. The next one is the ball of nature and living. You can see some green stuff here, right? Those green stuff are our continents. The Earth is a major planet for us to live. Here is where all of us live. The next planet is Mars. Mars is a red giant to be exact. Now, the whole solar system can be divided into two. The first one is type A, the second is type B. In this, you can see all of them having not having rings, some moons, and they are smaller in size. Let's move on to the next type, type B. In here, we, all, we can also see four planets, in which two are the gas giants and two are the ice giants. Let me tell about the gas giants. The gas giants, the Jupiter and Saturn, are majorly made out of helium and hydrogen. This is Jupiter. Jupiter, as you can see, is the biggest of all of these. It's a star. See it in Mercury and the Earth, the Jupiter, then Venus. You can also see it with Earth, then so small with Mars. It is the biggest in biggest of the planets and it is also very similar to the color of this planet because both of them are gas giants. Let's move on. As you can see, there are beautiful rings of Saturn. Saturn is also the sixth planet of the solar system. Let me tell you some facts about it. Saturn's rings are... Sorry, it's the seventh planet. Saturn's rings are mostly made with water, so it can literally float on water. So don't give a path to Saturn. The next planet we have is Uranus. Uranus is also an ice giant. As you can see, Uranus is also similarly colored with Neptune because both of them are ice giants. Uranus is also famous for turning upside down and orbiting the whole sun. The next we can see is Neptune. Neptune is so lonely over there because all of the planets are near to the sun, whereas it is the last. 
it also takes the longest years and distance to orbit the sun. So, if you're two years in Neptune, you're really old. Now, let me tell you the belt of the solar system. In these four planets, there's a belt called the asteroid. In these next four belts, in, in these next four planets, we can see the Kuiper belt. In the Kuiper belt, we can see Pluto and many other dwarf planets. Thank you. Thank you.